magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa live chat with Jen. Meron po tayong napaka-espesyal na bisita sa ating chat ngayon kasi po siya ay isang talagang totoong Pilipinong henyo. Filipino genius. Napakagaling po niya talaga in terms of technology and marami pang iba. So hindi ko na po papatagalin kasi napaka-importante po ng pag-uusapan natin. Walang iba kundi si Sir Alvin. Alvin? Hello. Yeah. Grabe naman sa introduction. <laughs> Good evening, Sir. And Good evening. Salamat. Yes, salamat po ha, sa pagpapaunlak sa live chat natin kasi po... Tama. Um, ito po yung tanong ng karamihan ng DDS sa akin. Mm-hmm. Although, um, I know po na we, we call ourselves as Duterte supporters. <laughs> pero yung talagang <laughs> nagiging parang general tag ng sa lahat na DDS po talaga. Mm-hmm. So sir, sabi nila, ano ang mangyayari sa election 2022 na ngayon parang nagiging obvious na parang may censorship at fil- mm-hmm. filtering sa mm-hmm. Facebook which isa sa pinaka-famous po talaga na influencer si Binibining Maharlika. Nakausap ko po talaga sa mm-hmm. Facebook Messenger. And sabi niya, yun nga, uh, she invited me to some other platform para nga may, meron tayong extra. Uh, so sir, uh-huh. uh, una po sa lahat, mag-introduce po muna kayo. Baka meron po kayong sabihin bago natin talagang ihahot seat po kayo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, talaga ba? Well, um, yeah. uh, ako si Alvin Baroy. Um, yung... Um uh career ko ngayon is uh, all about cybersecurity saka uh emerging technologies uh, especially yung blockchain. Actually it's it's one of my uh, advocacy dito sa Pilipinas to bring that technology. Um I spent like uh, 18 years sa US. Uh wow. I joined uh, a lot of different startups so the in and outs of a uh, tech world parang alam ko na and yun the oh, business happy side. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kaya ayun um uh, adito ako ngayon and then uh, also uh, helping uh yung uh, the government uh in terms of uh yung any kind of uh, technical um consultancy or pag tatanong sila sa akin what, what's uh what's the best to do or the most cheapest <laughs> means mm-hmm. yan yung ano kasi uh, w- yeah. when in terms of uh, about uh, government we need to have yung the best and also yung cheapest kasi we're spending the uh, the tax money ng mga Pilipino uh, so ano shout out pala sa Department of Science and Technology natin oh, sana yeah. po mm-hmm. sana po makontak niyo po si Sir Alvin <laughs> <laughs> We are, I am very much aware, sir, na talagang kailangan po talaga ng parang boost yung cybersecurity sa atin. Which, in fact, uh, recently, di ba po, may, may nagsabi na yung data natin sa government may nakuha yata. Oh, uh, I that think um, the, the, the uh, department uh, responsible for that will be the DICT. And, uh, DICT. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if DICT was... Um, or yung um, NPC, NPC National Privacy Commission is under mm-hmm. them but um y- yun yung uh, isa sa mga bagong uh, agency or commission pa- para mga pulis sila eh, na nag um uh, si- sila yung nagmamasid man. or nag um oh. check check uh, uh, lately nga lahat ng corporation or uh, mga businesses that handling um, personal information they need to have uh, ano Uh, privacy uh, officer. To... So, sir, segue lang po ito na tanong, no? Okay. Hindi pa po ito yung hot seat niyo po. Okay. Segue okay. lang. Right. <laughs> Kasi na-mention, na-mention po yung... Kinakabahan naman ako kung pag hot seat. Yeah, ano talaga, yeah, hot seat talaga. <laughs> oh, talaga. Kasi gusto natin i-highlight kung gaano ka-importante yung pag-uusapan natin. Aba, sir, okay. Kasi na, nabanggit nyo yung sa privacy. Tapos Apo. meron talagang agency sa atin na nag-check dyan. Uh-uh. Ang concern ng tao, yung sa data natin for the national ID, would it be affected or is it safe? Since we've started the rollout last year, di ba? Apo. Well, um, we cannot uh, say that it's 100% safe. Uh, there's still a, a lot of ways na pwedeng malik or magkaroon ng uh, possible uh, uh, yung um, ano tawag doon? 
uh, vulnerability within the system. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yun kasi nahirapan ako minsan eh, yung how, how, how can I make that, that term a little bit uh, uh, yung familiar sa public kasi oh, sa pag public. masyadong technical. Ano yun? Sasabihin <laughs> <What's that? laughs> So, oh, so hindi natin masasabi um, kasi lahat naman eh, even the United States or kahit anong country um, as long as there's a central uh, system that holds all the information, meron kang specific uh, lugar kung saan mo na nakawin lahat yung information. Di, po, di, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yun yung, yun yung dangers doon. But to have um, uh, a unified ID para sa ating lahat, it's a, it's a good thing then kasi uh, marami ng countries ang nagbe-benefit with the unified uh, ID system. Yeah. Uh, I've been in the US and yung um, driver li- driver's license alone is uh, good enough to uh, identify you and then open up yeah. businesses, open up yung yeah. iba't ibang uh, uh, bank accounts and everything. Um isa din sa mga uh, advocacy ko rito which is yung blockchain is um, part of it is yung ano yung sa for the financial financial technology maraming Pilipino ang walang banko sure. and especially now no nagkaroon ng pandemic um, supposedly ibang countries are using the cashless technology now pwede na sila yeah. magbayad without going out of their house eh ngayon yeah. ang hirap uh, kasi Siyempre, may mga pera pa rin. Mostly yeah. kapag dinideliver dito is COD. And yes. then, <laughs> adon pa rin yung transmission eh. Uh, minsan, either na dun sa package or na dun do sa pera. <laughs> yeah, and that that brings me to the breaking news today, sir, na nag-positive si Spox Harry Roque. Oo nga po. Uh, get yeah. well soon po, ano, uh, Sir Harry Roque. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Sir, alam niyo po, I will just quote-quote the same nakaw ng data kasi uh-huh. napaka, napaka ano niya, relevant niya sa first question na Apo. bakit bumaba ang engagements ng social media influence, influencers sa Facebook recently? So, may uh-huh. ninanakaw ba na data? Is it relevant? Uh, sure. I think uh, ikaw po yung makaka- makakapag-explain okay. ng maayos dyan. Uh, kung, kung napansin nyo, this, uh, uh, during the presidential election sa US, uh, f- uh, after that, uh, Facebook, especially si Mark Zuckerberg, what, uh, parang katulad ko, nasa hot seat din. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, na-interview siya sa, I think, Senate or Congress. Hindi uh, ko na matandaan, eh, but Um, after that, they tr- uh, tried to roll, roll out or nag-implement sila ng bagong algorithm sa Facebook. Mm. Meaning, um, yung newsfeed mo, um, meron doon parang robot na ano, pinag-aaralan niya kung ano yung mga interesado kang gustong basahin, gustong panoorin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, at the same time, yung dating na ginagawa ng mga influencers na bato, bato-bato lang ng post, ang dami laging engagement. Ngayon mm. hindi na. Uh, I, um, paano ko ba ma-describe yun yung echo chamber? Na kapag, uh, pa, let's say sabihin mo sa in one family, you believe mm. in one in just one opinion, one uh, one culture, para kayo nasa echo chamber. Yes. And the rest ng ibang lugar, ibang opinion, kapag pumasok doon sa ano nyo, hindi nyo tatanggapin because this is what we, ito yung pinalak, or ito yung pinaniniwalaan namin eh. Yun yung yeah. uh, tinatawag na echo chamber. It's it's bad because um, we cannot uh, uh, see other, ano, other opinions or other uh, school of thought. Yeah. Pero it's good because naiwasan yung mga fake news, naiwasan, and hindi nagpropropagate that much, uh, especially right now, pandemic, di ba? So, um, nakakatakot kapag nag, may nagpapasa ng mga fake news dyan or whatever na takot na nga tayo. <laughs> na, nakakulong, na, nakakulong na nga tayo sa bahay and then uh, ito pa yung mababasa natin. And yeah, especially yung right now, yung... Natakot. Oh, especially right now, a lot of people uh, all around the world are 
um, nasa bahay lang. So they have mm-hmm. a lot of time reading social media. So I think it's a good thing. Uh, na... But sir, it, it gave me an impression that that, what, that thing called echo chamber is, mm-hmm. it's like digital censorship. Mm-hmm. Kasi, kasi ano eh, nililimit yung capability mo para makapag-share. Oh, and hindi na... nakikita ng iba. So it, it mm-hmm. practically is censorship. Naging digitalized nga lang kasi it's on mm-hmm. social platform. So paano uh-huh. yan? So isn't that still restriction of a freedom of speech? Um, ano kasi eh, in, 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 oh, oh. in in ano in a uh, in a uh, different perspective na perspective na ginawa ni Facebook ang mm. nagse-censure diyan is yung user let's say mm. for a- ako um gusto kong makakita ng mga science stuff mga computer stuff kapag may nakikita ako na lumalabas about sports about mm. uh, politics Uh, hindi ko masyadong binabasa or ini-scroll up ko lang ang mga ang mga kiniklik ko lang or kino-comment ko or nag nag engage ako or those things na gusto ko. So effectively, sinesensor ko yung sarili ko on other school of thought. So paano so yes, it's a censorship but You, you, you're uh, parang ikaw yung nasa iyo yung rights. Yeah, that, that brings me to a word, sir, uh, now, customized censorship. Yes, oo. Uh, and, 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 and there's a positive and negative. Depende sa tao kung negative yes. mukhang tao. So, puro negative ang nakukulong. Uh, uh, Pag positive ka, puro positive. Exactly. It's nice in a way. Pero, uh, it's nice in a way, pero hmm. syempre, um, may mga tao kasi na they want to be open. They want to know other, hmm. yung um, gusto nilang alamin kung ano yung sinasabi ng other party? Bakit yeah, ganun? Oh, oh, sabi so... ng dilawan, ganun. So, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, that brings me to the next question. Kasi mm-hmm. you said na parang customized dito ba censorship. So, mm-hmm. bakit, is it relevant na bakit marami mga influencers, ang um, mm-hmm. social, like social media influencers ha, na nagkakaroon ng parang jail? Oo. Yeah, parang na... Po, dahil sa political stand nila, they have mm-hmm. this FB jail. Yung mm-hmm. iba na nasususpend sus- na sila ng 24 hours or how many mm-hmm. days. Yeah. Tapos hindi makapag-post or talagang deactivated. And uh, personally po, mm-hmm. ikang ulit na po akong na deactivate ng Facebook and I have to send my yeah. IDs several times para lang makapag-post ulit. So, uh, I, like, uh, what can you say? <laughs> uh, yun nga yung ano, uh, kasi parang ako yung nagiging tech support ng mga, yeah. ng mga social media influencers and uh, I always try to tell them na always limit your post and then at the same time, yung post na, kasi um, effect, yung ginawa ni Facebook is enclosing mm. in an echo chamber. Mm. So, you're in a chamber kapag nagbato ka doon ng information and other is other people are also saying the same thing ngayon yeah. ang in, ang iisipin ni Facebook yung robot <laughs> na Facebook oh, is okay. a, I think this is a spam kasi inuulit-ulit lang nila so mm, ngayon um i i-mamart ka ni Facebook so most of the time kasi bago lang tong um bago lang tong uh, uh, algorithm na to So, nagkakaroon minsan ng false positive dun sa mm-hmm. robot na I think this is a spam. So, I will mark this as spam. Then, i-jajel ko muna to prevent yung mga spamming. So, so sir. Sa- uh, yes. Go ahead. I-simplify ko lang po kasi baka hindi naintindihan ng iba. So, parang ang, ang dating sa akin as normal person mm-hmm. kasi ikaw po your genius. So, talagang <laughs> so, nakukura. <ganun>. Ikaw. <laughs> Ay, pasensya na for sure po yung mga kababayan natin na nanonood. They will really contact Sir Alvin. Um, yung, yung dating po sa akin is ganito. Para hindi ka ma-jail, ma-jail sa Facebook, para hindi ka ma-spam ni Facebook, ang gagawin mo, hindi mo lang i-copy-paste na dating ginagawa ng mga kung sino man na nagsusuporta ng kung ano man. ba diba? Facebook is also uh, tar- targeting any kind of uh, political post that creates mm-hmm. yung mga discourse especially mm-hmm. negative uh, negative posts so yun yung mayroon at kasi tinatawag na uh, uh, scoring si Facebook ngayon so habang tinatype mo pa lang actually Facebook also knows kung ano yung mga tinatype mo before mm-hmm. you post it <laughs> and then kapag dinilit dilit dilit mo yan 
alam niya na dinilit mo and so oh. al- there's a lot of uh, ano uh, data points na ginagather ni Facebook. Hindi hindi alam ng karamihan yan but and, yeah. you know for sure um alam ko kasi sinabihan mo ako na kahit na-deleted pa yan, <laughs> andyan pa rin yan sa Facebook. Uh, yeah, thank you for that, Sir Alvin. Talaga. So, yun nga, um, kapag mag-post uh, ka, uh, minsan sineshare mo yun sa groups. Uh, sometimes that groups are already marked by Facebook na it's being used for propagating fake news or groups na, na a lot of... Um, uh, tinatawag nila yung recently na labas na ano in um yung uh, unusual yung behavior or ano hmm. parang uh, mga trolls or mga bots so you know what, sir i can relate to that na like parang na na, na parang na label na or na flag hmm. na ni Facebook ang grupo kasi alam niyo po recently hmm. ginawa po akong admin ng isang malaking grupo for federalism Mm-hmm. And you know what happened? Like, on the spot po, like, parang zero engagement. Talagang, I think, yung feed ko talagang parang nagiging invisible or ghost mm-hmm. siya. Kasi talagang kakaiba, as in, drop zero talaga. You will know yeah. eh. Kahit mm-hmm. na okay yung post mo, wala talaga. So, uh-uh. in this case po, ano itong bagong Facebook algorithm na to? Pa- uh, ano ito y- talaga? Na. So, yung... Oh. Um... Yung itong Facebook algorithm na to, mayroon ng scoring na tinatawag. And then uh, uh, on the top of that, medyo nilalesen na niya yung political discourse na mm. na, na post. Um, uh, if you um, um, notice recently, I think uh, mga few months ago, merong isang page na... Uh, Uh, well on the government na sinasabi nilang Facebook na ano inauthentic yung behavior yeah. na tinanggal nila i think you, you know that na yeah i know uh, ang, ang na ano nila is yung mga terrorists and mga rebelde yes. uh, wow. yan yung mga post nila na but i think uh, it, it was uh, sent into a a group or uh, ano tapos yung group na yon captures it and then Boosted it, boosted it up kung saan-saan ina. Ano, so, na-detect ni Facebook na this is a, ano, uh, inauthentic behavior. Pare-pareho <laughs> sinasabi. So, ito yung algorithm ngayon. The, uh, Facebook is trying to put all those influencers or lahat ng nagpo-post to be unique. In number one, you need to be unique on, on what you, you post. Kapag Uh, nakita mo lang share mo na lang wag wag mo nang bago-baguhin <laughs> uh, it, it will just uh, and then don't share it on the same on the same group or the same pa- or mm-hmm. same pattern and then if you think that um, is it worth sharing ba itong ano na to will will it um, kasi ang dapat mong titingnan diyan is uh, uh, saan ang galing Mm-hmm. yung i-share mo is it a factual baka pag so nag-share parang, mm-hmm. ang dating sa akin sir it's better na mag-post ka na lang talaga sa sarili mong timeline or sa wall hindi yes. na Uh-oh. it's not good to share parang e, yes oo y- yun yung ano or if you have um, ka- kasi da- dalawa dalawang klase yan eh. there's uh, influencers about brands mm-hmm. kami ang most most of um Our, our clients are or yung isa sa mga uh, tinutulungan ko we are promoting brands and there's a lot of tools mm-hmm. like um it's a known known tools yung mga hoot sweet stuff mm-hmm. like that maraming tools do that they can give you the proper scoring yung mm-hmm. proper narrative ng ano mo and then yung uh, uh, tawag dito yung parang sentiments ng post mo Mm-hmm. Uh, so, okay. yun, well, doon naman, uh, most of the time, it's very positive. There's, mm-hmm. Wala kang binabash <laughs> and everything. So, ano, uh, safe kami doon. Oh. We, just, we just want to see yung pinaka uh, best na makukuha ng reach ng post na yun. But when it terms of uh, something political or creating discourse or creating a news na uh, hindi pa authenticated or Uh, someone will say that this is a uh, fake news or alam mo na yan, yung meron siyang 
uh, capability na magiging uh, viral tapos mababash. <laughs> Or yung nakakainit ng ulo kapag binasa mo. Those are the oh. things na try mong iwasan kasi uh, Facebook has uh, thousands of different algorithm uh, uh, machine learning or paano po ba sasabihin niyo parang robots mga spies, ano, ganun, mga na- parang mga procedure nila ito yung hmm. mga inutos sa kanila ng mga developer ng Facebook uh, pag nakita mo tong post na to make sure oh. ibibigay mo ng ganitong score oh. until na matotal yung score mo pag nakita hmm. ni Facebook na mukhang ano to mukhang nang babash or nang trotrol mm-hmm. or something like that i uh, ano kana niya i trotrotol down um sometimes we call that ano shadow ban uh, yeah. ang ang shadow ban is uh, hindi mo alam na naban ka na <laughs> you're still functioning as ano pero makikita mo yung mga engagement mo yung mga ano mo bumababa nang bumababa until wala almost Since wala ka nang reach na alam niyo sir sa interview natin ngayon ang dami niyo pong binigay na problema ano lalong lalo na sorry <laughs> lalo na lalong lalo na sa isang talagang nagwo-vlog po na mm-hmm. hindi political so i think meron na kong mga iba pang points na pwede niyo pong maitulong sa amin at lahat ng mga mm-hmm. users kung typical lang na user so mm-hmm. una sabi mo itong algorithm talagang napakabilis mag-score imagine by the click of that talagang mm-hmm. meron ka ng score agad because they have mm-hmm. thousands of parang checkers, ano? Uh-oh. And then you said shadow ban. And I mm-hmm. felt like I'm there already. So mm-hmm. how can you get out of that ban? Uh, yun, you have to change your habit. Uh, you start uh, sharing something different, something new, or kung ang, an, an naging, an, uh, naging enclosed ka lang into a... Uh, echo chamber ng mga hateful or toxic na people <laughs> try to reach out on other things try to look on other niche or um uh kasi as an influencer we are obliged to create uh be creative uh create mm-hmm. your own unique uh content na uh, engaging kasi meron naman tayong metrics diyan eh malalaman natin kung natutuwa ba yung tao kung uh, ito, uh, ito mas gusto nila to so you'll, you'll go there kung saan gusto in a positive way not not in a negative way kasi we're in uh, we're in a bad state now yeah, <laughs> we're, sure. we're in a pandemic so, so so parang in other words Facebook is trying to promote positivity so that's yes, platform I think so yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh. so getting into that kind of side po positivity hmm. side so Parang positive na paano may babalik pa na mga influencers, yung engagements, following, and views nila. Mm-hmm. You said to be positive, like how positive it is. Mm-hmm. Like halimbawa, if politiko sila or sa politics sila, like, ano, they will just change there's, to another topic. There's always a, a, a positive uh, side on, on the politics. Uh, mahirap kasi when um, we keep on blaming others, we keep on, ano, mm-hmm. there's, Uh, on the other hand there's uh, achievements there's mm-hmm. uh, other things that you could uh, talk about na still on on the politics side but not in the sense that you create a very toxic environment kasi mm-hmm. fa- facebook is a a company is they they are a business and they want to make sure that their product is mm-hmm. still appealing sa people. Eh, eh, kaysa naman yung pagbukas ko ng Facebook, tapos ayoko na magbasa ng Facebook, nakakainis Me lang, too. na high blood na ako. I have <laughs> diba? that kind. Nag-deactivate po ako. So sir, so, parang like for for a person like you, na talagang very digital ang iyong um, evaluation and posts. Kasi mm-hmm. in, kung ako, it could be biased kasi I'm not that kind of like techie. So, paano po ba yung how toxic is toxic as a post? Well, uh, when when you say uh, toxic, kasi is uh, you're you're trying to engage on the emotional part ng oh. ng mga audience niyo, and mm-hmm. then, um, example, ang ipopost mo don is something na you 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 both of you agree, na mm-hmm. both of you pa- parehong galit. 
<laughs> so so diba yeah, well you get an engagement with that but in mm-hmm. uh, an engagement that is uh, on a negative side and yung mm-hmm. the new algorithm uh, suggests that to yeah, may slow down on it <laughs> maybe ano konti konti na lang but uh, okay. uh, ano na lang mag mag uh, bigay ka na lang ng something na more positive and then mm-hmm. Just a little bit negative. <laughs> so like maybe what Facebook wanted us wanted us to do is share this same purpose, but Mm-mm. in a positive way. Hindi oh, yung yeah. nagkakreate ng chaos. So, eto sir, uh, parang gusto ko kasi parang uh, mabigyan mo din ng linaw. So after all of this, this um, parang algorithm na mahirap na talaga makipagkumpetensya kasi it's mm-hmm. it's ano eh, absolute eh. Nakikita mm-hmm. ko na talagang accurate yung pag-scoring nila. Mm-hmm. Next, na-mention mo yung parang customized na censorship which is about mm-hmm. echo chamber. Kasi kailangan mm-hmm. maintindihan ng mga tao ito eh. Na no, talagang no, no, no. tayo mismo yun ang gumagawa ng echo chamber natin na sarili nating box na parang nilalagay natin yung sarili natin sa isang box. Mm-hmm. And finally, yung 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 behavior ng mm. pagpo-post ng isang tao kaya na jail ka. Mm-mm. So sir, kasi ang lahat naman po punto ng mga users to really just support kung sino man yung gusto nilang i-support at i-share mm-hmm. kung anong gusto nilang i-share. Mm-hmm. So of course, because we wanted to share, we wanted to have engagement and reactions mm-hmm. and probably of course share something that's really beneficial to everyone. Mm-hmm. So it also ganito na lang, like maybe final message na po. Kahit mm-hmm lalong-lalo na sa mga social media influencers. Uh-huh. Parang conclusion, kumbaga, sa lahat uh-huh. ng ito na nangyayari sa Facebook, ano ba ang talagang dapat na makuha from you na talagang pwedeng magamit ng mga social uh-huh. media influencers po talaga? Opo. So, ang first natin na gagawin is uh, before before you share, be, be responsible kasi uh, all the contents or kahit na ano, gumawa ka ng content be, be responsible on what you post on social media that's number one and second is uh, I think sa dami na nang nagiging influencers na nagiging ano uh, so kumukunti na yung ano yung parang ano yan eh yung supply and demand so mm-hmm. there's a lot of supply of influencers right now so, mm-hmm. ang ginagawa ni Facebook is uh, you, you need to strive to be more creative, to be more um, appealing to your audience, mm-hmm. uh, right. and also understand your audience para bumalik yung reach mo. Kasi if you just do the, um, yung mga na, na, nakasanayan mo, uh, lahat naman tayo, even me, I, I, uh, especially on my, on my field, I constantly need to learn the new mm-hmm. things uh, like for example itong itong sa Facebook na to uh, mm-hmm. nung nakita ko siya nung last month about uh, this new ano I, I have to learn yung uh, in, in a deeper in a more intimate <laughs> yeah intimate parang, parang conversation uh, natin <laughs> uh, para malaman ko kung uh, paano ba gumagana ano tong mga nil- nilalagay nila to so ano kasi um even though you find a way to uh, get through with it or gayain yung sistema, mm-hmm. which is y- yun yung lagi ko ginagawa. <laughs> I, I try uh, a lot of different ano, approach. Uh, nag-experiment ako. And uh, since this is a machine learning, uh, meron kasi tinatawag sa machine learning na adversary, uh, adversary na um, pag naka, yung isang kalaban nakaisip ng bagong paraan, Mm-hmm. dapat yung ginawa mong machine learning will ad, uh, automatically adjust and adapt mm-hmm. to that new ano adversar- adversary mo. <laughs> Ang hirap naman parang parang nag naglalaro lang ng chess sir. So Uh-oh. talagang parang unahan sa pagalingan kung yes. baga sa paraan, 'di ba? Kasi nakukuha agad yung behavior yes. or kung paano mo ginagawa or pino-post yung mga gusto mong content sa social media. So Uh-oh. sir, um, since that was that was the last message, pero naisip ko lang, kasi it's for the parang individual influencers uh-huh. na they have to be creative. That's that's the best thing they can do. Yes. Uh-huh. Now, kung, kung able po yung taong yun, personalidad na yun, can they ask professional help like from you? 
Consistent. Of course, yeah. Uh, well, um, uh, ako naman is very helpful, actually. <laughs> helpful by default na minsan nilalok na. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, talagang professional support ko talaga, like tech support ko talagang, they can yes. hire someone to do this for them and mm-hmm. they can ju- just post whatever they like and then mm-hmm. still they can manage to do that, to have the engagement they want. Is it possible? Apo, apo. I, I can uh, I can help them and then um, of course um, I, I think the best way to help like this uh, conversation itself is um, uh, educating them what yeah. what's really happening and there's a lot of ano i Google nyo lang yan i ano nyo lang well aja na yun, nasa fingertips yun na yung, yes. yung tools and uh, in my part I I can guide them on that mm-hmm. the correct route. And then um, also yung uh, kasi as an influencer, um, we you have your own character, eh. and mm. that's what really matters. Dun sa ano mo kung kung kilala ka as ganito kung uh, in, uh, uh, ano kas ganyan na uh, like yung uh, mam Jen. Um, mm-hmm. Ba- like bakit may, may, may personality ka eh. May iba't ibang personality ang mga influencers. And uh, I think the best way to uh, in uh, as an influencer is be original. Be yourself. Kasi yeah. y- y- that what really sells. Kasi mahirap na may gagayahin kang iba. Mm-hmm. Ayan yung tinatry na i-prevent ni Facebook is manggaya ka. Yeah. Manggaya ka. <laughs> pa, uh, oh, uh, so I think, sir, yung para din sa akin, after hearing all those um, talagang, let's say, expert opinions mm-hmm. uh, regarding this dilemma now sa Facebook, sa tingin ko, parang it's it's one one way to upgrade din sa mga Facebook users, lalo na yung mga kababayan natin na uh, kahit na wala silang nakitang picture or video kasi free, free data, free usually data. yung iba, yeah, they just have to read muna bago nila i-share para hindi mm-hmm. sila naging, nag, nagkakaroon ng shadow ban. At mm-hmm. Useless din yung pag-share nila. Ganun, oh. diba? At least, merong, merong ganitong bagay tayong natututunan at mm-hmm. hindi na tayo pa parang, anong tawag na to? We don't have to waste our time, di, di po ba? Mm-hmm. na mag-share ka tapos wala din naman nakakakita kasi naka-shadow ban ka na hindi mo rin, hindi mo rin uh-huh. alam diba? so uh-huh. salamat sir always for this uh, really, uh, you know uh-huh. very Anytime. useful and intellectual opinions <laughs> on social media let's say activity so uh-huh. uh, sir Alvin meron ka po bang babatiin bago po tayo mag uh, bye bye sa ating mga viewers um, babatiin <laughs> Binabati ko yung mga uh, family ko sa US. Matagal ko na silang hindi nakikita. <laughs> ako kasi yung ano eh, tinatawag nila na uh, na doon na nag-OFW papuntang Pilipinas. <laughs> <laughs> Alam ko po yan and hindi ko na, hindi ko na elaborate yan but sir, thank you very much. Wala pa nung 2016 hanggang ngayon magkasama pa rin tayo para lang sa bansa natin. So, mm. laban pa rin tayo po. Laban, laban. Hanggang 2022. <laughs> okay, so Sir Alvin, na, maraming salamat na. po. Yes. Opo. Maraming salamat po, Sir Alvin. And hanggang next time po, ha, pag may mga iba pang problema, lalo na uh, sa uh, behavior sa social media, kayo lang talaga yung ah, Sige po, ma'am. Uh, anytime. Tawagan niyo lang po ako. <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat. And magpaalam po magpaalam po tayo sa lahat. Sige. Thank you Paalam. and see you guys Bye. next time. Paalam.